Celtic the Musical is back and rehearsals are well underway for the show's opening night on Thursday, September 15th. It's been four years since the cast got together for a run of the show, which proved very successful and they are raring to go again, this time in Glasgow's SEC Armadillo. So exciting. I mean, I can't wait to get out there in front of two and a half thousand people or whatever it is that this venue holds. It's just, I mean, it's been great before, but this time it's going to be bigger, it's going to be better, it's going to be, we're going to lift the roof off the place, so I can't wait. The first time we did the show, because I, I opened the show with a song, that first time that we did it, I was like, that, oh God, I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do. And as soon as you get out, the room is dark, but everybody just starts singing along with me anyway, so it's like any sort of nerves that I have before the show, as soon as it starts, are just gone because everybody is just so nice in the crowd and they just sing along with you like they're part of the show. With a grander stage, the cast members can't wait to get going in front of the Celtic fans in the Armadillo. The Armadillo is a, a much larger venue. Um, huge stage, uh, which gives us lots of scope for jumping about like loonies and uh, having to learn all the choreography. We were doing choreography yesterday and it was, that's completely different. I mean, a lot of that, the whole, I think the whole show feels, feels different. I mean, we're still, to a certain extent, telling the same story, but there's a different approach to it. And also, it's, it's great to be back. <laughs> My granddad, with his arms open wide, guiding us back to our wee bit. What I would say if fans that haven't been, I very rarely would say that anything's a dead set, or you, I would say to you, you're going to love it. You've got my guarantee, you come to the show, you're going to have a good night out. As my wife said, who's not a football fan, to put it mildly, it's a fantastic night out. We move into a new ending because we move into, you know, we're four years down the line. And a lot of things have changed, so we cover all of that. Uh, with that big, big, big kind of arena. The show will be bigger and better, but of course, there will be a tribute to long-time supporter of the show, Bertie Old, who sadly passed away last year. Bertie was such a part of the show. He used to come on almost every night with the European Cup, so he was just, um, he was just part of it. So um, obviously, we really miss him. Uh, Bertie gave me this badge, it's a Lisbon Lion badge and it's very dear to me. I always wear it in special occasions and I'll be wearing it um, every night during the show. Actually, um, I graduated recently in a master's degree and I wore it in my graduation gown. I mean, it's just, it just, it makes me feel, um, I just I just feel as if I'm touched with greatness when I wear this badge, so, yeah. Be part of the history, the story and the song. Tickets are going fast, so get your ticket now so you don't miss out.